Hello, this is Tori Valandio. We have a new 160 acre ranch in New Mexico. This property has electricity, road frontage, and borders nearly 70,000 acres of BLM land. This is the 160 acre parcel highlighted in green. You have road frontage along the entire west boundary. This road is called Sunshine Farm Road. Then you also have a county road that runs along the north boundary of the property, touches the property right here, and then over here on the east. You can see that road makes kind of like a little curve there. This road is called Arena Road, and this road can connects directly to this paved state highway right here. If we go back to the property, there are electricity lines and poles already in place on the property. They run through the property right along this line here. There's also some fencing in place. It runs along this path right here. So it's fenced, I'd say, on about probably 70% of the property. The entire east boundary and then about half of the north boundary border all of this BLM land. This BLM land extends up into these mountains right here and continues on. You have roughly 70,000 contiguous acres of BLM land and this BLM land also adjoins state land and this is contiguous all the way over here to the east and down to the south even up to the north in addition to this roughly 70,000 acres of contiguous BLM land that the property borders you're surrounded by over a million acres of public land all of this green shaded area here this is national forest land all the yellow is BLM land and the blue is state land. This property is located in Game Management Unit 26, which is favorable for hunting deer, bighorn sheep, scaled quail, cougar, and turkey. If we go here and turn on the topographic layer, we can see that the property slopes uphill along the easterly portion of the property, and it goes up into the mountains here. Again, this is all BLM land, all of this yellow shaded area. Right here, you have the Continental Divide, and these are the Animus Mountains. The peak elevation up here in the Animus Mountains is about 6,000 feet. You can see there it's a little over 6,000 feet. If we go back to the property, you can see that it has an elevation of around 4,500 feet. So you have roughly a 1,500 foot elevation change from the property to the top of the Animus Mountains. And Animus is the town just north of the property. It's only about 10 minutes away. This is the town of Animus. There you'll find a post office, food and fuel, building supplies, an elementary and high school. And that drive to the property is almost all paved State Highway 338, which intersects directly with Arena Road that takes you right to the property. Then from Animus, you continue on the paved State Highway 338 that'll intersect directly then with Interstate 10. That will take you to Lordsburg. Lordsburg is about 48 minutes from the property. It's the county seat of Hidalgo County where the property is located. Lordsburg has a population around 2,500. Then you're only about an hour and a half in two different directions from cities that have a population of over 15,000. Over here to the northeast, you have Deming, New Mexico, which has a population around 15,000. And then over here, you have Douglas, Arizona. Douglas, Arizona has a population of around 17,000. Douglas, Arizona is on the border with Mexico. Both of these cities have hospitals, grocery stores, building supplies, Walmart super centers, regional airports, so pretty much anything you need you can find in those cities. If you continue on Interstate 10 to the east, it'll take you through Deming, then over into Las Cruces, and down to El Paso, Texas. The property is about 2 hours and 50 minutes from El Paso, Texas. El Paso has a population of over 680,000. There's also an international airport in El Paso. And then to the west along Interstate 10, you're only about 2 hours and 33 minutes from Tucson, Arizona. Tucson has a population over half a million, and there's an international airport in Tucson as well. So about 2 hours and 50 minutes from El Paso, Texas to the east, and then about 2 hours and 30 minutes from Tucson, Arizona to the west. This is looking south along the paved State Highway 338 en route to the property. This is the intersection where Arena Road meets the paved State Highway 338. Now we're looking south at that intersection. The property is only 1.5 miles from this intersection. Here to the south you can actually see an arena, hence the name Arena Road. This is looking east towards the Animus Mountains. So once you turn east onto Arena Road from State Highway 338, you'll pass over this cattle guard, and then the property is only 1.5 miles 
miles from this intersection. This is a view looking west at the Pelincillo Mountains. This is the arena near the property. And this photo here is from Arena Road looking west. And this photo was taken east of the property. So the property would actually be down the road right here. This is the northwest corner of the property. Here's Arena Road. And this curve right here takes you to Sunshine Farm Road. This is a photo standing on the road at that intersection. And this gives you a really good idea of the view to the west of the property. Again, this is all BLM land, publicly accessible, there for your enjoyment. It makes for a beautiful backdrop. And this is a view standing on the property looking to the west. There are the Animus Mountains. In this image, you can see the electricity lines and poles that are already on the property. We have them at the southwest corner along the southern boundary. And as we pointed out, they actually run through the property. In this photo here, you can see the electricity lines and poles, some of the native vegetation on the property, and the sun setting over the mountains to the west. Here's some of the fence that's on the property. Here's some additional photos showing the fencing and electricity lines and poles already in place. If we go back to our interactive map and turn off the public land layer for a moment and then turn on the topo map and we zoom out, you can see that the property is surrounded by mountains all around it. You have these mountains over here to the west. You have Tank Mountain, Little Tank Mountain. Further to the west you have Gray Mountain. Over here you have the Coronado National Forest and the Chiricahua Wilderness Area. If we turn that public land layer back on now, you can see this is all national forest land all this green shaded area and about 42 minutes from the property you have portal arizona portal is a popular tourist destination this is a view driving into the chiricahua mountains this area is very popular for bird watching these are google earth terrain views this is south of the property looking north and you have almost half a mile of frontage along sunshine farm road electricity lines and poles already on the property fencing around nearly 70 percent of the property and you have the entire east boundary and half of the north boundary boundary that border that roughly 70,000 acres of contiguous BLM land. This is east of the property looking west, nearly 1.5 miles from the paved State Highway 338. Over here we have Tank Mountain, Gray Mountain, the Peninsula Mountains. Now we're north of the property looking south. And now we're west of the property looking east. You can see how the property has a gradual slope up to the east. And then we have the Animus Mountains. Again, all this is all BLM land, publicly accessible. And then this road runs up in through the mountains. These white circles represent nearby landowners that have developed their properties. This is the neighbor just to the north. And if you'll notice, he has mature trees growing on his property. So trees will grow here, you just have to plant them. This is a neighbor to the southwest. This is a sorghum field just north of Arena Road. Here's another neighbor to the west. Again, look at these big mature trees. And there are techniques that you can utilize to actually grow trees faster and healthier. And the county has no zoning classification for this property. So you can do a single wide, double wide mobile home, manufactured home, tiny home, shipping container home, earthship home, barn dominium, cob house, straw bale. You can use it for commercial industrial purposes. You could live in an RV or camper, or you could use the property recreationally and enjoy beautiful sunrises and sunsets over the mountains that surround the property. We have this amazing 160 acre ranch with electricity and road frontage that borders nearly 70,000 acres of contiguous BLM land, priced at only $59.9. That is less than $375 an acre. All the property details are listed here on our website. The property taxes only $222 a year for the entire 160 acres. There are no other assessments or fees. We have more information in the property description, along with over 140 images of the property and surrounding area. And at the bottom of the page, we have this interactive map. If this property fits what you're looking for, please go to our website and click on this Buy Now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart, then click Checkout. Once you click checkout, this window appears where you can enter all your information and then continue to the payment. Once you enter the payment information and complete the checkout process, this buy now button automatically changes to out of stock. We only have one of each property available. Only one person can place a deposit on a property. We sell our properties on a first come first serve basis. Your $499 deposit will be credited towards your purchase and then we cover all of the closing costs. There are no other commissions or fees, so your total purchase price for this 160 acre parcel is only the $59.9. The remaining balance may be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, ACH bank draft, credit card, debit card, or any combination of these methods. We make the whole process super simple and it can be completed in as little as a day. Now this property is a cash sale property. 
we do not have the ability to offer owner financing on this property. Many of our customers successfully utilize third-party financing. They'll use funds from a retirement account. A home equity line of credit is also a really popular way to purchase land. You can borrow the money at amazing terms and no down payment is needed. If you need more time to complete the purchase, we can certainly work with you on the time frame needed. If you have any questions, our phone number is on top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We have a live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. For not available for whatever reason, please send us a message to respond to your next availability. You can also fill out this contact form here on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. We sincerely appreciate you taking the time to visit our website and look at our property videos and ask that you please support us by sharing our website and our properties with everyone that you know. The more people that we reach, the more amazing properties that we can bring to market for you. And we are working diligently to bring you new amazing properties at incredible prices and also provide you with comprehensive information about these properties. It truly be an honor to add you to the Landio family of happy customers. Thank you and God bless.